Since the outbreak of the COVID-19 pandemic, most of the sectors were heavily hit, which has led to the high rate of unemployment among youths in the country. Mohamed Sankor, who has been an artist for over eight years, says the closure of social activities has affected most of the youths in the country. Sankor's skills is also threatened as he no longer gets customers. Before the COVID-19 began, I've been woke. But throughout this COVID-19, again, it shut down. Yes. So I know we will get better work and it's so good. Now, we need to get any social activities. I need to get money that side and they for support me to work. And they do hard to work back, they support that side and they need to get anything in it. I promise Boku. We are my papa again picture one to one. Yes, I say well, no problem, you're welcome. Well then go come, go come in the guy again. So like a lot of promise, but I need to go at all. They even give me a shutdown, even this month of Ramadan. Um you have feel that nothing find better. Because you have a live now is different. Sanko is not the only person affected by the pandemic, even some of the bike riders. He often worked for also finds it difficult. While some of them were explaining their ordeals, they commended Sanko for helping them with inscriptions on their bikes. Sanko is a man very powerful. A man very socially creative. In 1960, bike ride, you know. But with this COVID-19, don't can't see the money for you. We know we get passenger there. We only will be back back there. So right now, they prefer for the draw, draw people eh, that they can't pay money and they survive out of that. And for the past president, they all who will not see them. If they go there, they see them, they can't because right now we're going to leave this COVID-19. Life for youths in the country during the corona outbreak has been very challenging. And as for Sanko, who has been using his artistic work to empower himself to do other activities like modeling and costume designing, ending his customers are only making promises but has not been fulfilling them james tamamatha ayv prime time news in kono